don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. First off, Adam, I do edit my videos. Okay, you remember? Do you remember when the video came out of ABG Neil getting his shit pushed back? Pause. When he got, when like, he got beat, beat up, up yes. and fucked up, yeah. They the dude him up. who beat him up, Envy Kane, who's like another like Brooklyn uh. rapper, and he's with the folks, so that's his gang or whatever. Mm -hmm. He got ran down on in Atlanta, apparently. And uh, who's, who's this guy, BMG, this fucking YouTuber dude who, like, makes videos talking about hood drama and shit, particularly, mm -hmm. like, Brooklyn, like, street drama. And mm -hmm. just, I want to speak to him for a moment. You need to edit your videos more. You can't be, you just, you can't be doing the, um, so what was I going to say? Um, all right, so, so what happened? Like, just, just gonna edit that stuff out. Like, run through with Final Cut, 20 minutes, your videos are going to be so much better. That's all I, I just want free to say sauce. that to him as a YouTuber. Free yeah. sauce. Free it's sauce. Very free game. Easy you just cut out the, in the intro, the, he's saying BMG got the city hot, and I do, I do find myself looking at your channel when I want to learn about drama within the Brooklyn drill gang scene, whatever. Just a little bit more editing. That's just my my mm -hmm. advice. Maybe it doesn't need to be a twenty minute video. Maybe it could be a fourteen minute video. But that dude MB Kane, they got him. They took uh, all the shit. First off, Adam, I do edit my videos. You just watch certain videos where I feel like I don't want to edit. Like, reason being why I don't edit certain videos, because I want you to have that realness in it. See, if my phone rings while I'm doing a video, I answer my phone, tell a person I'm going to call them back. Because I'm, I'm giving YouTube a whole different feel. Everybody else on YouTube already does that. Almost like a newscaster type of thing, like where everything has to be perfect. They got jump cuts. They don't allow people to see them making mistakes and stuff like that. I do it because I want people to see that. I'm the realest reaction channel on YouTube, and you're going to have all the rawness. You feel me? It's authentic. When you talk to people in real life, sometimes you stutter. Sometimes you forget what you're going to say. You might mess up the pronunciation of a word and all that. You don't have no edit in real life. You feel me? If you made a mistake, you're going to correct yourself in real life. You're not going to edit out the mistake part. You feel what I'm saying? So I try to make it as like as realistic as possible. So when you say, yo, I, I don't edit my videos and shit like that, it's not because I, I, I just can't or I don't want to. I don't know how to. I got videos. No, no disrespect, no shot. I got some videos that are edited better than your videos. You feel me? I'm talking about graphics, animations, all that in there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if I wanted to, like, throw something in there like this. See? Simple ass edit. It just look wavy, though. <laughs> you feel me? I can edit my videos. I just really choose not to edit. It's, it's, sometimes, one, it's annoying. It takes a lot of time. And two, I'd rather my stuff be just raw. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather it be raw. Look, I'm thinking, yo, what I said again? All right, boom. You know, because that happens in real life. It seems real. See, when everybody watch my videos and I speak, it feel like they're talking to a real person. Certain channels, when they watch it, they feel like they talk to a, a robot or a newscaster or some shit. Because it's so much edits. It's nothing real in there. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I like my raw footage. It just looks better. You know what I mean? Maybe now that I explained that to you, you probably understand where I'm coming from with the editing and all that stuff. You don't need to edit every single video. See, you you got a platform where you do different things than I do. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're sitting there doing interviews and certain types of videos, you're going to edit. And then you premiere your videos or you... Use whatever program you use to upload them as, as live or whatever, right? And, but you already edited it. Edited it. <laughs> you feel me? See, if if that was you, you would have took that part out. But I'm not taking it out. I'm going to leave it in there. You feel me? But you edit your videos and then upload them like it's actually live right now. See, with me, when I film a video, I sit and I do it one take. You know how some people might mess up, they stop the camera and then record again, and then they're in a different spot, they're here, and then they stop again, and then they're, they're this. It's, that's not real to me, you know what I'm saying? When I'm watching a video, I want to feel like, I want to get to know the person that I'm watching every day, you feel what I'm saying? You're not going to get to know me if I'm editing everything out, you feel what I'm saying? You're not getting that real me. You're just getting that, like, 
almost like I script my whole YouTube channel, like everything is scripted. Not saying there's nothing wrong with people that do that, but I'm growing very fast and it doesn't seem to bother my fans that I make mistakes. It's just those people who feel like everything is supposed to be perfect. I'm not the type of person that's gonna allow anybody, no matter if it's a big channel or a smaller channel or a TV show, nobody's not gonna tailor how I, how I do what I do. I'm gonna keep doing it the way I do it because it works, feel me? And everybody likes that. They like the real me because there wasn't a me before me. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people come on YouTube and they do what other YouTubers do. Like, how can you grow past a million subs if the person you're following is only at a million subs? You're, gonna, you're not gonna pass him because you're doing the same thing he's doing. You're doing the exact same thing he's doing. Now you could take his spice and spice it up a little bit of your way and shit. But like some of y'all be going to do the exact same shit. Oh yeah. Sidebar real quick. People be seeing me doing this in the video and shit. Yeah, while well, I'm rubbing my lips. Obviously, if you have common sense, you see that I'm I'm applying something to my lip. You know what I'm saying? Cause my shit be feeling dry sometimes. It might not be dry, but it be feeling dry. And I don't want my shit to look actually on camera because people gonna be talking shit. But anyway, back to Adam22. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want my shit to be like, oh, newscaster like. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm covering hood shit and all that. I don't want it to sound super professional and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to sound like a nerd while I'm doing all of that. It, it would defeat the purpose because then my image wouldn't up, like, my image wouldn't be what it is now because I be fake. You feel me? How could you be the realest reaction channel if you being fake? My uh, on a regular day, on a regular day, I speak ebonics. I, I speak like this. I speak hood. I don't speak proper. Not saying that anything is wrong with it, but that's not how I speak on a regular day-to-day -day basis. So why would I get behind the camera and do it do it like that? I don't work for the news for, for CBS and, and all that shit. I don't work for them. I work for myself. I do how I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Or I like to mess up and say, oh, what was I saying again? Oh, oh yeah. It's just real. That just feels so real, you know? Because when somebody telling you a story and all of that makes you want to hear the story more. Even when they forget a certain part and they be like, hold on, hold on. Nah, I'm forgetting something, bro. It brings the excitement in it. When somebody tell you a story in real life, you feel what I'm saying? You probably wouldn't notice that till I pointed it out just now. You know what I mean? You say, yo. Take a 20 minute video, make it a 14 minute video. Nah, I don't want to make a 14 minute video. I actually want a 20 min minute video, you feel me? Because if I wanted to make a 14 minute video, I would have set a time. Like, all right, so I watch my screen and I'm like, all right, right now I'm at 6 minutes, 31 seconds. I could say to myself, all right, you know what? At 15 minutes, I'm going to stop recording. So I'm going to try to say as much as I can before 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I could do that. Everything I do is off the top freestyle. I don't script nothing. I don't write nothing down. When I'm talking about a topic, I already know the information in my head about the topic. I don't need to write down nothing because I already know what it... Like, somebody, if you see something happen outside, you, do you need to write it down on the paper to remember to tell the camera, like, what? I'm not about to be acting like I'm reading scripts. Hell no, man. I forgot a part? Oh, yeah. Let me involve that part. I almost forgot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. What was I going to say again? Know what I mean? And sometimes, at the end of the day, I be doing a lot of that because I be buying time. And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I be buying time sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to make the video longer. <laughs> like, tell you the truth. I really be trying to make the video longer sometimes. And that's real nigga shit. If y'all watch my channel, I say this, and I don't hide it. I want my minutes. You feel me? So as long as I... Yo, I could be talking in circles. As long as I'm getting my minutes, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get the facts that you came to watch for. You're going to get the information that you came to watch for. You feel me? Word. Son, son talk about free game and shit. Like, yo, bro, I've been doing YouTube before Adam22 was even the YouTube channel. You heard? Like, I had another channel before this that got terminated and shit. So, like, ain't nobody about to be telling me... No disrespect, but ain't nobody about to be telling me how to do YouTube because they're a bigger platform than me. I mean, you got to understand, when you invest time into something, you get more out of it. I wasn't really investing a lot of time in this YouTube shit at one point, so I didn't get that much out of it. And look how fast I'm growing now that I'm investing time. Adam22 was investing time into his shit, investing money. He got a location. He started bringing up rappers on this shit, all that shit. I don't even... I barely bring rappers... 
up for interviews and shit. I could be interviewing every single rapper in Brooklyn. Like everybody would love if I was to start interviewing these. But I just, I don't want to do everything everybody else do. I try to make it different. You know what I'm saying? So we had eight minutes. I was just trying to get to my time anyway. But Adam, I'm not editing my videos unless I feel the need to edit my videos. You feel me? I might throw some edits in this video just to show you that editing is very simple. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy Upper Class, man. Um, Adam22, my name is BMG Upper Class, feel me? My, my name is actually Upper Class, but the BMG is the whole camp, you feel me? So it's BMG Upper Class and shit, but my name is, you feel me? Upper Class, you get me? So next time you shout me out and shit, say Upper Class and shit, BMG Upper Class, just say the whole thing. Don't just say BMG, you feel me? But then again, they could go search BMG, because if you type in BMG on YouTube, I'll pop up anyway, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? And oh! I owe you an apology. My bad, yo. Because I was live when your video was premiering live. And um, people were telling me, like, oh, yo, Adam22 talking about you and shit. And I'm like, what he saying? And they're like, oh, he's saying you need to edit your videos and shit, or whatever, whatever. You know, they wasn't really telling me, like, yo, you was trying to big me up. They saying that, like, it sounded like you was trying to fire shots. And I'm like, yo, he, 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 said, he said my name. But they they didn't say you say my you said my name. They said uh, he said a YouTuber dude, right? And last time you did that too with the other video when ABG Neil got jumping shit. You was like the YouTuber dude or whatever, and you ain't say my name. So I, I was like, yo, I kind of I ain't gonna front. I kind of was upset about that. I was like, yo, you is a bigger platform. Why you ain't mention my name? Why you ain't say my name so that people go go see who this person that you're talking about, who's creating this content that you're getting the information from that you're using on your platform. You feel me? And I'm like, nah, he on some, he on some, um, he on some culture vulture shit. You feel me? I'm like, nah, ain't no way he's just going to take my content. And I was furious. Like, yo, you talking on the content, you getting the information from my content and you're not saying my name or whatever, but you actually did say my name and that's just a misunderstanding. So, you know, I apologize. Shout out to you for shouting me out. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck DJ Academics. Cause that nigga stole my motherfucking visual and they didn't want to give me no credit. They didn't want to tag my name. None of that shit. Fuck DJ Academics. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Shout out No Jumping and shit, man. It's your boy Apple Class, though. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you know the five time I'm dropping a new video. After you subscribe, remember this. Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me because I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself because you ain't make a fire song. <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!